One Thousand Little Sisters star Amy Slayton's smiling a lot lately, and it's great to see her so happy. But there are signs that she may be hiding her darker emotions from the world. Amy's a sweet Kentucky woman who's overcome so much. She's crushed her goals, from losing enough weight to qualify for weight loss surgery to becoming a mom to moving on after a very unfulfilling marriage. Since she cried so much on screen during the last season, Amy may feel like she has to appear happy now. Hopefully, she won't stop opening up about life's more challenging moments. Amy's endearing because she's real. Recently, she's hinted that she's roiling under the surface due to a failed relationship with Kevin. While Amy has a lot, she's no stranger to depression, anxiety and trauma. Amy's had a lot of bad luck in her life. She's legally blind. Amy lives with toxoplasmosis. She may lose all of her vision someday. Plus, she's been unlucky in love. Her attempts to find a forever partner following her split with Michael Halterman ended in tears. As well, she's the primary caregiver to two sons. They are wonderful but very active. Amy's life isn't easy. Amy shows her most sincere happiness when she's with her sons. In this respect, she's not faking her joy for the cameras. Yes, she could be described as a single mom. Michael may see the children, but they live with her. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Single parenthood can be very fulfilling. There's talk about the downside of parenting alone, but the bond that single mothers and their children share can be very strong. This seems to be the case with Amy and her two boys, Glenn and Gage Halterman. Above, she celebrated Glenn's second birthday. At the same time, it's all so tough. There is money to make, chores to complete, and emotional support to give day in and day out, with very rare breaks. It's an exhausting thing, and there's no way that Amy, who lives with a disability, she's legally blind, isn't rich, and hustles to make ends meet, doesn't feel the pressure. Amy lives with bipolar disorder, acute anxiety disorder and depression. She can't see well. She's not a Hollywood A-lister with a fancy house and a Maserati. Amy is doing the best she can, and she shouldn't feel like she has to be perfect. No one in her situation would be a flawless human being. It's good when Amy opens up about her feelings. She's an intense Scorpio, and she needs to get her strong emotions out, whether they're good or bad. Amy enjoyed some tequila and coke with her pal Olisha Davis, and the two seemed to love the taste of the soda after it was loaded with booze. These down-home Kentucky moments seem pleasant, who hasn't enjoyed a drink or two. Amy seems genuinely happy here, but the fact that she drinks sometimes may mean that she's self-soothing with alcohol. Again, it's hard to say if this is harmless or not. If Amy's taking medication for a mental health issue, Drinking is probably against her doctor's orders. Amy has strong appetites that she tries to control. Her emotional eating is one example. She seems to have that handled as she's maintaining her weight loss. That's so impressive. However, drinking may aggravate her depression. Alcohol is a depressant. Yes, it lowers inhibitions, making it easier to relax, but it can drag a person down, activating the feelings of sadness under the surface it can really bring those emotions out. Amy split with Kevin, which led her to get barely cryptic at TikTok, may be inspiring her to drown her sorrows. That's very understandable. In one post, she wrote, Life is already hard. I don't need to be around. I don't want to be around anyone who makes it worse. This was the real Amy, the one who's sad inside. Sometimes, the happy 1000 Old Sisters star is the real Amy too. Her kind-hearted fans probably seem like an emotional safety net when she reveals herself online. The haters likely hurt Amy badly. She's a sensitive woman who's still recovering from everything she's been through. Hopefully followers will be gentle with Amy while she adapts to single motherhood. It's a journey that's beautiful, but not an easy path to follow.